vida. Twenty nineteen marks forty years since the establishment of ties between Saint Lucia and the Republic of Cuba. We are currently at the Cuban Embassy, where we are going to speak with Ambassador His Excellency Alejandro Marin on bilateral relations between Saint Lucia and Cuba, namely health, sports, education, and construction. Ambassador Alejandro Simancas Marin, welcome to Saint Lucia. Welcome to this interview. Thank you. Okay, first of all, Ambassador, tell us a bit more on your diplomatic background, how you got involved in diplomacy, and what were some of your previous postings before you came to St. Lucia as the Ambassador of Cuba to St. Lucia. So, first of all, I, I would like to thank you for giving me this possibility for addressing to the St. Lucia people, which, of course, we consider a brother people to Cuba. Uh, before coming here, I was uh, working in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Havana. I have been, in the last year, always uh, responsible for the relationship with Europe, for a bilateral relationship with Europe. So I was, my previous posts were in Turkey and in Russia. So now I am in, in the Caribbean, in San Lucia which is a, a priority for us, for Cuba, because it's a, our main uh, area, our, our family. And we feel that way here in San Lucia. We feel in family. We feel very well. So we are very, very happy to be here. But not as you said, so what has been the experience like? You said you're happy to have been here, but what has the initial few months been like for you having been posted in San Lucia? We, we have been working a lot. We have been already for four months. I present my credential to the Honorable uh, Governor General the last day of the year, so December 31st. Since that, we, we have been working a lot. But I can tell you that we have worked a lot, but at the same time, we have enjoyed the, the friendship, the cooperation that we have found everywhere where we have been. So it has made the, the, our daily work to be more pleasant, more enjoyable for us to feel uh, among friends and family. And we have discovered a beautiful island, uh, wonderful people, very good friends, uh, people who, of course, are, are very, very similar to us. We share all the same culture, the same interest, the same aspiration here in the Caribbean, the same traditions. We are coming from the same history. So we have found a, a familiar people to us, very, very similar to us. Wonderful. And it's soon going to be 40 years since the establishment of relations between St. Lucia and Cuba. We know that there have been many areas of cooperation. Um, those that would really stand out would be that of medicine and sports. And also, we know that you've been involved also in construction and also education. Could you t look at each of them individually? We'll probably um, start with what has been most commonly known as far as the relations with St. Lucia and Cuba in the area of health. So maybe you can look back at some of those interventions that Cuba has been able to assist St. Lucia in terms of assisting with our health care. Since, since the same beginning of the Cuban Revolution, the, really the, the one who has the, the long sight about our relationship with the Caribbean was Fidel. Since the same beginning, he identified that the Caribbean was our, our family, that the, it was our priority. Even at that time, at the beginning of the 60s, when uh, most of the Caribbean countries have not got yet their independence. So very quickly, as soon as they got the independence, we established a relationship with them, and particularly with San Lucia in August 
23rd, so a little, um, just a little more than six months after the independence of San Lucia, we established bilateral relationship. So this year, we are celebrating the 40th anniversary of our uh, bilateral relationship. We are planning some activities we want to celebrate uh, officially, uh, friendly, like uh, we think our bilateral relationship deserves. And from the same beginning, the principles that are based on our relationship with San Lucia are very clear, the solidarity, the friendship and the cooperation. From the same beginning, we have felt with uh, the duty uh, to contribute to the Caribbean and to San Lucia from our humble capabilities, but always to, to, to work in order to contribute. That way, now um, about 700 San Lucians have gra uh, studied and graduated in Cuba, most of them as, uh, in the field of medicine, as doctors, but also engineers, architects, veterinarians, psychologists, so in different fields, but most of them in the field of medicine. And hundreds, hundreds, hundreds maybe about 1,000 already, Cuban doctors have been here working in San Lucia. Right now we have a, a brigade of 34 Cuban collaborators, uh, most of them in the field of medicine, but also in the field of sports, education, and construction. But particularly in the field of medicine, we have a very strong cooperation. Uh, most of the Cuban doctors are based in Victoria Hospital, but there are also in, in Beaufort, in St. Jude Hospital, in Sufre, in different places. And particularly in Victoria Hospital is working the ophthalmological center which is, uh, let's say, the emblematic, the, the most important place for our uh, medical bilateral cooperation because they are doing a very, very important work in the, in the ophthalmological uh, speciality, helping the San Lucian people to recover the sight, to solve all their problems they have in, in, with the sight, with their eyes. And the origin of that ophthalmological center was the so-called uh, miracle operation by which about 1,000 San Lucia were taken from, from San Lucia to Cuba to be operated in Cuba some years ago. Now we have the possibility to have the, the treatment, the, the center here in San Lucia, so the, the treatment is directly here. But as I told you, Always, from our humble capabilities, always we will uh, work very hard in order to contribute to San Lucia in, the, uh, the, in your social development, in your economic development. And it also uh, it, uh, enrich us in the, from the human point of view the possibility to contribute to, to, to your development, the possibility to have uh, that direct contact with the San Lucian people. I always say to them, to the Cuban doctors, and in, from a very honest uh, uh, way, that the real ambassador here in San Lucia are they, are the Cuban doctors. They, they are the ones who are day by day in, the, in touch in the relationship with the, the San Lucian people in their happiness, in their sadness, but every day, every day. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Ambassador. A good chance for us to take our first break. And we'll be back in just a moment to look at more St. Lucia-Cuba cooperation. I'm innovative. Yeah! I'm competitive. Yeah! I'm productive. I am creative. I constantly improve what I do and how I do it. I am output oriented. I never stop learning. I give up my best always. The National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, embracing excellence. Thanks for staying with us, and we are continuing with our discussion with the Cuban ambassador in St. Lucia, 
His Excellency Alejandro Simanchas Mareng. Ambassador Mareng, sports has been a very big area of cooperation between Cuba and St. Lucia. We know that annually we have at least one extra collaborator coming in and as far as the um, the Porter's program is concerned and you've assisted St. Lucia over the years as far as technical support for sporting development in St. Lucia. Tell us a bit about that and how do you see um, Cuba continuing to assist St. Lucia as far as the development of sports is concerned? Uh, sports is a priority in Cuba. It's a part of our culture and, and I have been, I have seen, sorry, that in St. Lucia is the same. We have the same a, a spirit, a sport spirit that this is something that we share. And here in San Lucia are working trainers in the field of basketball, in the in track and fields, and in the Ministry of Sports there is a Cuban specialist uh, also working, uh, advising in the methodological system of the sports. So it makes us uh, very happy that we can contribute also in that way. Uh, uh, I have seen uh, and I have met the, the glory of the San Lucia sport, Levin Spencer. And, and first time I, I saw her was by television in Cuba, competing against Cuba. She won, but we were happy that the one who won the Cuba and the one who beat the Cubans was a San Lucia in sports. And we are really very proud about the, the, the success of the San Lucia sports. We, we share about like if they were the, the successors of the Cuban sports. By the way, my son is a, is a member of the Valley Soccer Academy. They play football. Uh, every during the week in the Castries Comprehensive Secondary School. He's very, very happy and he participated in a kind of championship during the Easter. So it made us very happy to see how he uh, enjoyed among the San Lucian friends, San Lucian trainers, um, and sharing with them just as, as a friend. But of course, this is a priority in our cooperation. Yes, it's good because it Cuba has long been recognized as one of the sporting powerhouses in the entire Caribbean. So I think St. Lucia is very privileged yes. to have had technical expertise from Cuba and as far as laying the foundation, as far as technical aspects of sporting development is concerned. And I want to look at the two other areas that the Cuban collaboration is really in the forefront, that, but maybe not too well known, uh, construction and education. Tell us about those. Construction is a, is a field in which we have collaborated for many, many years. Some Cuban engineers are working here very hard together with the, uh, sorry, in, inside the Ministry of Infrastructure, also in SLASPA, and they have been collaborating for many, many years. Not only here in San Lucia, in the Caribbean, in, in the different uh, countries of the Caribbean. Uh, particularly, for example, the, after the last hurricane hit so strong, Dominica, a very big Cuban brigade of constructors, electrical engineers, um, went to Dominica to help. They are still working there. So it's just uh, it's a very important example of our bilateral cooperation in the Caribbean. And in the field of education, it's the same. There, here are some Cuban specialists working together with the, the San Lucia specialists in the Ministry of Education, preparing and contributing uh, to the, the curricular activities in the schools, contributing to the, the alphabetizing program. In Cuba, it's very well developed and very well known in the world program, which have the possibility to, to, to teach the people to read and to write in a very short period of time. This program is called uh, Yes, I Can, in Spanish, uh, Yo Si Puedo. And it has been very uh, famous around the world because 
it has the possibility, as I told you, to, to, to teach the people to, to read and write in a very, very short period of time. So this is something, uh, another field in which we are working together. Okay, wonderful. And uh, we know that you've continued to uh, assist not just in Russia, other Car Caribbean countries in, in, in this field, like, like you mentioned. But we want to, to look at now at one of the local partners that you'd have had, the Central Cuba Humanistic Association. At this point, I want to find out a bit more how has that cooperation continued and how have they been able to assist you in terms of getting the, the presence of the Cuban Embassy and the contribution made by Cuba much more on the ground among St. Lucians. Be, before talking about the, the St. Lucia Humanistic Solidarity Association, uh, I would like just to, to point out that our bilateral relationship is even more than the, co the cooperation in the field of health, uh, education, construction. We have an excellent co uh, relationship. We have a very, very good uh, political dialogue in a very high level. We really appreciate the support and solidarity of the government and the people of, of San Lucia. Uh, to Cuba in the difficult, in, in during all these 40 years, in particularly in the difficult moments when we have uh, faced the reinforcement of the blockade from the United States. And we have found always here in, in the government and the people of San Lucia a very strong solidarity. We appreciate uh, particularly the words of solidarity of the Prime Minister Alan Chasnet last September in the General Assembly of the United Nations uh, condemning, uh, demanding the lifting of the blockade against Cuba. And it just reflects the, the excellent level of our uh, bilateral relationship. And we have a very important uh, legal framework of different agreements and, and and, and uh, which give us the possibility to, to expand even our cooperation. We are trying particularly to uh, as, uh, reinforce our bilateral relationship in the field of bilateral trade, I mean our economic and commercial relationship. This is a, a, an issue, a, a part of our general bilateral relation which we think that has been a state a little behind. That's why we have been trying to, to stimulate. For example, now uh, at the end of June it will be held in Santiago de Cuba, the second Cuban city, and by the way the most Caribbean Cuban city, it will be held the so-called uh, Expo Caribe. This is a, a trade fair dedicated organize it exclusively to the Caribbean. And we are inviting the San Lucian companies and the San Lucian uh, commercial institutions like the Chamber of Commerce, uh, the Agency for the Promotion of San Lucian Exports, the San Lucian uh, Manufacturer Association. We are inviting to take a part in this trade fair because it will be very useful for, for our bilateral relationship, but also for the uh, uh, stimulating, promoting the trade relationship in the Caribbean. In the framework of the fair, it will be held also the business forum of the Association of Caribbean States. So it, it, it is a, a very important opportunity to foster, to promote our trade, commercial, economic relationship. Mr. Ambassador, thank you. We'll be taking our second break right now, but we'll continue in just a moment. Les gens qui n'ont pas été estenés et bien tous, les gens qui ont bonne santé au lieu de la Westpire, c'est vers mine. Les gens qui n'ont pas bon TP ou maman, qui ont des maladies HIV, alcohol, caféine, qui ont des et grand monde, bien sensible pour ces maladies. Les gens qui ont tous ces gens qui ont des 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 gens si même maladie TB et HIV, protéger corps et les autres. Thanks for staying with us. We continue with our interview with the Cuban ambassador to St. Lucia, Alejandro Simancas Maring. And Ambassador Maring, 
we know that your foreign relationships is something that is very important as it assists you in getting the sort of collaboration that you want for not just countries like St. Lucia, but others in the Caribbean and particularly those of Latin America. Tell us a bit more about your, your foreign policy as it currently stands now. Just if you allow me uh, very quickly, uh, I cannot forget. Uh, it would be a big mistake if I forget to, to mention, you, you mentioned the work of the San Lucian uh, Humanistic Solidarity Association with Cuba, because uh, they are doing a wonderful job. They, these are wonderful people who are working very hard, uh, voluntarily, from a, a very deep feeling of friendship between Cuba and San Lucia, uh, fostering that, that th this very clean and sincerely uh, feeling of friendship between the Cuban people of San Lucia. Right now, in Cuba, there is a, the, a big delegation of the association, about 20 people. They took part already uh, uh, they took part in the May 1st demonstration in Havana. It's a big demonstration, about one million people, and they were among them. They participated with the San Lucian flag. And by the way, watching the demonstration in the Cuban television here, we saw the San Lucian flag. We saw them marching, so it made us very proud and very happy to see these wonderful people marching in, in Havana together with the Cuban people in the May 1st demonstration. And so far they are continuing uh, in, a, the, in a program traveling all Cuba, from Havana to Santiago de Cuba, to the east, and they are coming back this weekend. I, I could not miss the opportunity to mention them, and you remind me about them, but these are really wonderful people who reflect the, this clean and sincere friendship between the Cuban and San Lucian people. So, sorry, coming back to your question, uh, the Cuban foreign policy, of course, is based in the principles of the defense of the international uh, law, the international solidarity, uh, in the framework of the, the, what established the letter of the United Nations. And we have right now a very wide uh, foreign policies with all over, all, all, over the, all over the world. We have a particularly some a, a strong a commercial uh, relationship with some countries like, for example, Venezuela, China, uh, Russia, with the European Union, Canada, of course, is a main trade partner for Cuba. But the Caribbean, Latin America and the Caribbean particularly is uh, our family, as I told you. It's a very important priority for Cuba. And Cuba have been doing very important uh, efforts in order to, to reinforce this relationship and this base of um, cooperation, friendship, political dialogue, understanding here in, in our region, in Latin America and the Caribbean. In the Caribbean, our relationship with CARICOM is a historical one, is an excellent one. And every year we uh, have the opportunity to gather uh, once every two years at the highest level in a summit and once every two years at the ministerial level. So it's a very important mechanism that we have uh, of a, a political change with the Caribbean, the, the meetings Cuba CARICOM. Also the Association of Caribbean States. Also we have an excellent relationship, an excellent political dialogue, a change with the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States. Last September I had the opportunity to receive in Havana uh, Dr. Didakus Jules, the General Direc Director of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States who accomplished a very important program in Cuba, and he was received by the Minister of Foreign Affairs in Havana. So the Caribbean is a very important priority for Cuba, and our aim is to reinforce the excellent level 
uh, of bilateral relationship with the Caribbean that we enjoy uh, now. The, the level in which always is based, and I repeat, in, in friendship, solidarity, and cooperation. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador, Ambassador Maring, for giving us such a, a wide overview of St. Lucia and the Cuba cooperation. Well, we've come to uh, the end of our interview with the Cuban ambassador to St. Lucia, His Excellency Alejandro Maring. Thank you very much once Thanks more. Thanks to you. Thanks to you for this opportunity. And, and again, I would like to reaffirm our message of friendship, solidarity, and cooperation to the government and the St. Lucian people. Thank you. Mm -hmm.